Okay, so a question for the binomial expansion. Um, five marks to start with. Expand 1 minus 4x to the power of a quarter in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. So we're going to go straight to the formula booklet, which was 1 plus x to the n, and it is 1 plus n times x. And remember the common mistake here is that we need to have this in brackets, we need to get all of that in there as the x term, so it's plus minus 4x. And that's especially important now, we can do n times n minus 1. And again, if you're not really careful, it's easy to make a mistake on this. This is such a simple thing that you're doing, isn't it? Doing a quarter take away 1. But people will write minus a quarter just because it's, they're not thinking carefully enough. A quarter take away one is, of course, minus three quarters. Um, we divide them by two, and then it's all of minus four x squaring. And we need the next term as well, which would be a quarter, quarter minus one, and then that take away another one, which would be minus seven over four. That'll be six, three times two times one. <laughs> times minus 4x cubed. Okay, now don't try and be heroic with this. You have a calculator and your calculator will deal with fractions really nicely, hopefully. So just be really careful about typing things in and make sure that you get this right. This would be, is that 1 minus x that we would have out of that? Um, because a quarter times minus 4. And then we've got um, I think this is going to be minus 3 over 2. Is that what it comes out as? Yeah. Because the, uh, we've got 4 squared on the bottom of that fraction times by the 4 squared there. So that's minus 3 over 2 x squared. And then actually the, the 4s are dealing with themselves here as well. And we've got 4 <coughs> cubed on the bottom of that fraction times 4 cubed there. That would be positive, though. so that would be negative again, and we've got 7 over 2 x cubed. And then the sequence will carry on, I think. I can't think it's right. So that be... There we go. And, uh, well, take five marks for doing that, won't we? That, that's quite nice. That was five marks. Part two. Notice, um, what, what's the bit that they sometimes say in this question? And you might have expected to have it there. What is, what is valid? State that the values of x for which your expansion is valid. Um, we, we've not been asked for it, but what would it be? How do we set this up? <coughs> What do you think it would be if it had a It would be between plus or minus a quarter because it's it's the four x that we've put into our expansion. So four x is between minus one and plus one. And if we divide everything through by four, x is between minus a quarter and plus a quarter. So that's how you work it out. But he didn't ask us for that in this case. Find the lowest degree. That the term of lowest degree in the expansion there in ascending powers of x is the term in x cubed. Find the values of the constants a and b. Um, so hang on, that means that when you multiply all this out, you've no number term, you've no x term, you've no x squared term, the first term is x cubed. So, so that's what we need to work on. This actually looks like a lot more work than the first five marks was. Um, so we've got, we've got 1 plus bx squared to the 7. So I think we're going to have to deal with that. Should we if we work our way through that first, if we're doing what is it, 1 plus ax times 1 plus bx to the 7, then that is 1 plus ax times, so this is just doing that expansion again, it would be um, 1 plus n times x plus n times n minus 1. 
over 2 times x squared. Um, now, how, how much do we need of this? Well, what we, what we do know is that we're actually interested in the first three terms, the x, the number term, the x term, and the x squared term, aren't we? Because they're the ones that are all zero. So I'm not going to go any further than I think of this. All right. It's not the x squared. Like, in the bracket. Mm -hmm. what? Well, the question is the x squared. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Right, thank you. So that would make that squared and that squared. And we definitely don't need to go any further than this than doing because we, uh, we only need up to x cubed at most. Thank you for that. So this is 1 plus ax times 1 plus 7bx squared plus, well this would be 21. 6 over 2 is 3 times 7. And that's b squared x to the 4. And then things go on. So actually I'm not even sure that we need that at all there, do we? Um, now if we if we come to multiply this out, we would have 1 as the number term. The only x term we would have is 1 times ax. I'm doing that times that. The only way we get an x cubed term is by doing ax times 7bx squared. That would give us 7abx cubed. I think. Um, and we've, I've missed out the, uh, the 1 times 7bx squared term that would be in there as well, so let's move that along. Oh, that worked. Sorry. 7b x squared. There we go. And that's it. Every other term in our sequence would be powers greater than 3, and we're not really interested in. Because what we're doing is we are taking away from that our answer to this part here. So we're subtracting. 1 minus x minus 3 over 2x squared and 7 over 2x cubed and so on. And what we do with that is we end up with 0 in all of these three places. So 1 take away 1 equals 0, I think we're very happy with that. Um, ax minus, minus x has got to leave us with 0. In fact, it's the coefficient that we're interested in, isn't it? Um, so it's it's a minus minus one is zero. So a must be negative one. And if we look at the next term as well, we've got zero x squared. So we've got seven b minus minus three over two is also zero. Giving us seven b equals minus 3 over 2, and so b is minus 3 fourteenths. And there we are. Now of course deliberately as I was doing that, I made a few mistakes along there of uh, just showing you how important it is to copy the question down directly when you write it, and then how easy it is so when you're multiplying out, to miss a term out and have to shuffle things around, it was all deliberate. But you can see that the questions aren't necessarily mathematically that difficult. But it's really easy to miss things out and to make a mistake and lose terms in the way. Um, there we go. They were the right answers, even though that, that especially doesn't feel particularly confidence-inspiring, does it? But it was correct. Right. And that's maths. Great work, David.